All right, Shalom, Rastafari, and we're gonna go forward with this. In fact, that was a uh, um, unexpected um, intermiss or intermission. Not a false start, but you know, in the reggae, what we would call it, in a dance hall sense, a false start. And right there, but still, it was the intro right there. This is the book I was talking about. This is the book. Mm -hmm. It is called um, Ye Beta Christian Teleco. Uh, Mindeno, right? Your beta Christian tell it call Mindeno, Mindeno. Mhm. Mm it's by um, uh, Ka Haile, I guess um, Walde, Walde Mikael. I would think so. His name is down here, right? Haile Walde Mikael, right? Uh-huh, and this is the picture I said that was like one of these um, European or Catholic-inspired pictures. Now, true, originally, um, I and I, originally the Catholic host was black. Let us understand that. Originally, the, what we call the Catholic host. Catholic host, um, Kataholos, is part of the creed, the um um, Nikawian on the Nisian, it was called the Nisian Creed. And in the Creed, the last part of the Creed, it says, and above all is the church. Above all is the Beta Christian. And and that, that phrase, uh, kata holos, is where, where it was translated into the Latin as Catholic. You know, saying kata holos, but bamarenia kohulum belai. That's another related subject matter, and we're not going to go into that, but just to for you to put a note in your own notes about that, because when we hear Catholic, people are like, fire bun, fire bun, so forth and so on. But they don't all of a sudden what they're, what they're bunning. We're bunning Mystery Babylon, right? Mystery Babylon, and the, the, the harlots who are her daughters, right? Mystery Babylon refers to um, apostasy in religion, right? Or in the teaching of of, of Christ, the teaching of Yeshua, Jesus, right? And it has become metastasized, like a disease in a sense, through what we know as the Roman Church or, or the Roman Catholicism, et al. You know, and then we get the Protestant Reformation. The Protestant Reformation began off well, but later on also was either um, infiltrated or overcome or co compromise with it, it return to the vomit in other words like it says in the Bible they return to the vomit you know what I mean um, um, the dog returns to his vomit and the pig returns to, to where it rolls in the mud you know what I'm saying um, so on the point of Catholic I know one by one I and I to go into a little more detail and these are interesting these are very interesting issues and and, and they're important to know in order to answer or resolve um, certain particular questions that, that come up, Yovas. And this is all part of the study in the University of His Imperial Majesty, Yovas, and or we call Jerusalem School of Hard Knocks, the universal city. It's not limited to that palace in Addis Ababa anymore, Yovas. So, Let's get into this particular area of, of teaching. Now, I mentioned, I, I found that book. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. We have a digital copy, a PDF of this. Like I said, it's, it's, it's uh, Bamulu Bamarinya. You understand? In other words, it's fully in Amharic. And this is the chart. Let's see if we can get a little bit of light on this. Let there be light. Right? So that's, that's what we was talking about in, in, in the first part. Right in the previous portion, right there, and you can see how there's arrows right there pointing to different things, right? Pointing to different areas of the circle. Now, what is that? That's a trinity, right? That's similar to the trinity, right? The trinity symbol, right? Or the three circles, right? The three circles. Now, I want you to just take a take a stock of that right there. Now, what does it say around here? It says right here, Silawi Meglecha. La we me me g le cha 
Lisa Ilawi Megalecha, right? Or a a a um, um, in picture or a drawing uh, that which is drawn um, description, a visual. What ones will say a visual description, right? A visual description. It has ha, right? Which would be like saying a. It has le, which was like saying b. Um, it has ha, which is like to say c, and it has me, which is like d. So it has like an a, b, c, or or ha le ha me, a ha le ha me, right? Now let's deal with a first or ha first. It says so ochin. Whether egeziari her memeles. So, Ochin, whether egeziari her memeles. Le, oh, okay, let's turgul, let's translate. So, Ochin means people, right? Means to say people, so men, right? Men. Um, whether towards or to egeziari her, which is the, the primordial name of Yahweh, of he who is who he is, that name being revealed to to Mashu, to Moshe, to Musa, the sustainer, right? The sustainer, right? Or as one would say, the Lord, but we would prefer to say, translate Egeziavihir as sustainer. And we'll get into the etymology, Yah willing. Now, the, the sustainer, people to the sustainer, Memeles. Memeles. Melesa, right? Memeles means to return, right? To return, and 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 the sense of that is is in the sense of uh, converted. I want to say converted, or or to 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 return. The idea of return. So when ones return, right, to God, it's like they're going the wrong way, right? They're going on the wrong wrong route. Remember this well, this uh, Samen Samen Tawi uh, send that. Um, a minbab is called um, Eneho. See, see, this day I have put before you, you understand, life and death. You understand, blessing and cursing. You understand, choose ye this day. You understand, choose you which one. Will you want blessing? You understand, or you want curses? You want life, or do you want death? So, we are born into this evil world, this evil world system, this evil world paradigm, right? This fallen world into a world in which the Satan and the Satanic, the evil principles and, and, and principalities are in control. Now, how that happened? Well, Adam, Adam, the, 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 the black man, Right, the Ethiopian, we can say, sold his birthright, right, to Satan, to those evil archons, those those fallen powers. You understand? Now it's through our Lord and Savior, our Black Lord and Savior, the Second Adam, Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, that that rulership is restored, right, is through him, as he said that all power and heaven and earth has been given to me. So it's through Yeshua HaMoshiach in spirit, the spirituality which we're about to discuss, as well as the truth, which we remind you of the truth, is that he is black, right? That he is an Ethiopian. You know what I'm saying? That he is Afro-Shemitic. You know what I'm saying? The truth that Yeshua HaMoshiach is such, as well as the truth that Adam now, of course, the world says something different. You know, you see pictures, you go on the internet, look at images of Adam and Eve, and you're going to see the whitewash. That's a reflection, right, of how this same evil being has even fooled and deceived European or white people, white folks. You understand? Now, when you understand that, that's like the background. That's like the backstory, in a sense. Then we can kind of go forward. And this is why 99 Ministry, we've had to address those issues and sometimes still have to address some of those particular issues so that ones can get the context. This is why our roots is important. A tree cannot grow, a tree cannot produce fruit if it has no roots or if its roots are bad. That's why getting to the etymology of the roots of words is important not to argue over just words, but get to the root of the words and then to apply it, you understand, to the context of what is before us. 
so that we can not just understand, but so we can overstand. All right. So right here, this is um, firstly is that conversion or that return from that astray way. You understand? So we are all born in a world of sin. That's what it means in the Bible. The Metzhaf Kedus in the English or in the Amharic or in other translations, it means that 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 we're born into this world that already has been taken over. There's already been a hostile takeover. Now you can look at Enoch and Jubilees and 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 if you want to go to Alexander, what's his name? Alexander Sitchin um, made Jobs rest or bless his soul because he has. His, his, I think he has passed on or whatnot, so forth and so on. And we talk about the Anunnaki, the Fallen, the Nephilim, and so forth and so on. And all that's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? But now we are in the Hadith Kidan, we're in the New Covenant. You know what I'm saying? So we need to move forward. You know what I'm saying? We, we reflect on what has gone on because we need to put the matters into the proper and the right context, but we have to move forward, right? Forward ever, right? Backward never. We don't want to repeat those um, mistakes or be stakes, you know what I'm saying, we don't want to repeat that, so firstly and foremostly, right, firstly and foremostly, let's put this over here, yeah, firstly and foremostly, it is people returning, so let's, let us, under, under Selassie I and man, this is going to be a serious deal, you know, Selassie I, right, the Selassie I, what is Selassie I, what is the Selassie I, what is the Trinity, Right, the Trinity in man. So you will have this as an overview. You understand if we're not able to get through the fullness of this right here as a reference point, right? So the first thing, the first thing in that Trinity, or the first step, right, is for man, for human beings to return. It's like those Psalms, you know, there's a couple of Psalms that return, O man, return, O man, turn around. It's like you see somebody about to go over a cliff, and you're saying to them, turn around, turn around, turn around. They're like, no, I'm going. You're trying to stop me. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 turn around. They, you know what I mean? It's, 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 that's the idea. That's the, that's the context. That's the concept right there. That's like they say, that's it in a nutshell, so to speak. All right? But let's go to Thessalonians for a moment. Thessalonians, if you have a Schofield Study Bible, and you do it well, you understand? You have a Schofield Study Bible, although it can be found in other Bibles in the text, but the, the footnotes, the notes that we have here in the Schofield Study Bible are excellent for this particular purpose and for the purpose of I and I studies. And if you look right here, since we still have the light on right there, right? If you look right there, you see where it says that what man, right? It says man is a trinity. You see that right there? Man is a trinity. Man is a trinity. Now, it's going to explain a lot in this uh, footnote right here, and this is under um, Thessalonians, uh, chapter of uh, 1 Thessalonians, um, and it's on page 1270. That number is significant, too, because you, you recall 1270. That's when the Solomonic dynasty was said to have been restored in Ethiopia in 1270. Isn't that kind of a little... Um, coincidence it seems like perhaps or maybe it's a sign but let's not read too much into every little sign and everything you know but it is interesting 1270 the restoration of Solomonic dynasty in Ethiopia with who was the who was the emperor's name the emperor's name was Yakuno Yakuno Amla which means to be God basically the name to to become God that's very very interesting Right, so Yakuno Amla. So if you turn your Schofield Study Bible to page uh, 1270, if you don't have a copy, you can go to the Resource Center at um, Lion of Judah, well, LOJ Society .org. Click on Resource Center, take you to the study page right there, and you can download that um, for free, a PDF version of it. So a hard copy would be better, but if you only can access that, please access that and study along with I and I. So we're here in First Thessalonians chapter five, right? First Thessalonians chapter five and um Mindano, which verse chapter five, five and twenty three. So first of all, 
let us state this fact that man, right, man is a trinity. Wow, they, they hear a lot of folks talking about, oh, well, God is not a trinity. Oh, they're not a trinity. That's all. Uh, it's not a trinity. That comes from, so there's a, you know, there's a whole bunch of ching chang yin yang argument about, you know, whether God is a trinity and that people show all these different um, it's so called pagan or idols or whatever, you know, and, and and these things have even crept into so called churches where we see even the Ethiopian church that was based on, I think, one of the Russian or Armenian Aramawi churches where they have three men sitting down. You know, I think we had a picture of that previously. We used that in our next vid. I don't know if it's over here. Let's see if we can find that. But you all probably have seen the picture, if you might not know exactly what I'm speaking of or referring to, but um, I'm sure you've seen it before, and when we find it, we'll present it again to you. Anyway, that particular image, we say that that false image that was in the Ethiopian churches, amongst a few others which have crept in, is probably one of the reasons um, on a subliminal level why Ethiopia turned its back on Pilate Selassie I and would then go into uh, communism or socialism, right? Communism or socialism. Oh man, I just find that, that that particular image is really, really, is really, really, I'm, I, Put the book. We we the same book. We we showed the book before. You'll probably know the particular. But it's a false image, basically. We see the three men sitting down there, all looking the same way. You understand? Looking like the same person. Some of you have seen that image. Some of you are probably upon hearing this or watching this, no doubt will find uh, versions of it, right? And and post it up there. You know, people say, oh, this is the Ethiopian. But really, if you do your, do your artistic study, you will find out that it actually is comes from um, uh, is preserved in the Russian church, but this, these kind of ideas have crept in concerning the Trinity. You saying, but now when we study the Word, you saying when we study the Word, right? When we study the B I B L E, the Word, we find out here in let's put this verse up here too. First, right? First Thessalonians, right? First Thessalonians. Right, chapter 5, verse 23. Right, now we're using the Schofield Study Bible because of its excellent Bible on Bible notes or Bible referring to Bible notes. This is why we said the Schofield is, is, is one of the best. You understand, know, like a lot of other Bibles deal with, um, you know, denominations, you know, are, are denominational, Protestant, Catholic, Methodist, so forth and so on. So things are tweaked, you know, to reinforce a particular um, demon, I mean, denomination. You understand, a particular denomination. But it's almost like a demon nomination because it's dividing, you understand, the one Christ into a lot of pieces. You understand, into a lot of pieces. And that also has caused much confusion in the body of Christ and among many um, sincere um, seekers of the truth of God in Christ. But in this, man is a trinity. Man is a trinity. Did you know that man is a trinity? Did you? Do you recognize that? That man is a trinity? You see, this is, this is like one of the um, um, uh, facts that's hiding in plain sight. That man is a trinity. So everyone talks about, well, um, the trinity is in God. Well, no doubt. You understand? God is, the true God is a, the triune God. But yet he is the one God. You understand? The one God is the triune God. Um, Ethiopians, ancient uh, Ritua Hymenot, you understand? Um, correct, right, living faith, um, faithful have said that his um, trinity is in person, right? His, his unity is in divinity. 
Trinity in person, unity or oneness in his uh, divinity. It's oneness in his divinity. Um, and that we always, when we came across and found that particular statement, we found that to be very, very um, illuminated. You understand? Very, very enlightening. All right? So here, here, here we're at, 5 and 23. Now, how does this connect with what we're showing right here? Well, let's just go through these four steps right here once again. So firstly, man or men, people, men and people, have to return to God. You understand? Have to return from their own man-made ways. You understand? That man, and this is a basic, uh, um, um, this is like a template, it's like a principle. Once you understand this and you start to look at a lot of things in the world, a lot of things in life, you start to look at yourself, you start to look at the other person, start recognizing yourself, recognizing your neighbor. You can recognize that in, in geo-global politics, why the, this, this so-called world, you understand, know is, 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 is slipping into the abyss, you understand, know is slipping into hell and confusion. It's because man has turned his back on John's ways, on God's ways, and has sought to do it his own way. And the Almighty, being gracious and merciful and the loving Father, Abba, has basically said, well, all right, go do it your way. You understand? It's almost like the revolution in Ethiopia, the so-called uh, creeping coup, the godless, you know, and, 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 and cruel... Um, apostasy against his majesty, the great transgression against the king of kings. His majesty said, Kadamawi, Haila, Shalasi, Haila, Shalasi, the first said, if the revolution is good, right, for Ethiopia, if, if this is good for Ethiopia, then I am for the revolution. He did not say that the revolution was good. He said, if it is, you understand, so like in the scripture, if you, you understand, if you, do such and such. If you, you understand, are willing, you understand, if you are obedient. So still, again, is the inherent idea of choice. See, the same word choice that we have when we study it in the goodness comes to the root, um, um, uh, charia, charia, where we get charu, charu, or what in Egypt would be Horus. That, that's, that's a title, a name like the Ethiopian name Kharu, Kharui, right? And then we have the Kharuyan. The Kharuyan in the good is are the chosen ones. Well, who are these chosen ones? Well, it's those who choose, right, to learn the will of God in Christ, in the Moshiach, and to do it and to live it. They are the chosen ones, right? They are the ones who have chosen life. They are the ones who have chosen blessing. May I and I be of those ones who choose life, who choose the barakat and not the curse. You know what I'm But it all comes, comes forward and begins with the Word. In the beginning, right? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, as above, so below, right? Right? He says, whatever we bind on earth, we bind in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth, we loose in heaven. So you can look at that verse and say, okay, that's just talking about God up in heaven. You understand? Or up in the sky. Or up in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the immovable stars. Or in the Orion region, if, 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 if you please. You understand? However, it, it goes beyond that. You understand? It's, it's not just, it's not just, God in heaven that that word is referring to, but it's also man, I and I upon earth. You understand? Everything begins with the word. You understand? And our words either are in God or towards him, whether egezi avihir, towards the sustainer, or they are against him. You understand? In spirit. In truth. Right? So the word is a, is, 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 is a pinning, is, is the groundation. You understand, that word is the foundation. This is why when we say to ones and ones who, who um, misinterpret 
And this is in English they're misinterpreting it, right? Misinterpret when it's Matthew says that we in Ethiopia have one of the oldest Bibles, but no matter how old the Bible may be in whatever language it may be written, the word is one and the same. The word is Yeshua. The word is is Jesus Christos, the living, you understand, the God in man is that word that became flesh that we know of as Jesus Christos, as Yeshua HaMoshiach. He is that word, and he is the, and that word is spirit, and that word is truth, and that word does live, and we can choose for it to live and to dwell and to abide in us. That very same word. Now some say, what you mean? The word Yeshua? No, 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 no. You see, see, see people, they want to make an idol out of it. Oh, what? Yeshua? The word right there? Oh, you mean just that word over there? No. The spirit and the truth. Can you get that? Spirit and truth? Well, what is spirit? What is truth? That's a good question if you ask it. But the fact of the matter is that Selassie I, when we say Selassie I, although many Rastas and Rastafari, and uh, I was guilty too, you understand? I was guilty as well of saying Selassie I, you understand? And many say Selassie I and thinketh that they, that, that, that they mean Kadamawi Haila Selassie. But when you say Selassie I, you understand? You might think you mean Haile Selassie, but to say that in a this this is real talk is being mean to Kedemawi Haile Selassie, and 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 it is it is violating that that article of the commandments, or some say that commandment that says not to take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, in vain, and it also goes further to say that. Those who take the name of the Lord thy God in vain will not be free from hurt. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about the hurt of man and, and people. If you're going to hurt of men and people, then you gladly can endure it. You know what I'm saying? But it's, a, it, it's, it's man getting hurt. Man gets hurt in his tripartite state, his trinity state. So what is this trinity? Let's go over the scripture right here. The first step is for man to, this, this book is, book is coming apart a little bit. You can see the, the cover. You see how this book is coming apart. But, you know, we can't repair it. We've had this since, um, it was 90, 1992. Actually, it was the, the 12th day of the fourth month, 1992. You know, I, I wrote this up. I wrote this up in this piece right there when we had received it, right? Okay, or when we had gotten it. Anyway, Maybe I'll take the cover off for a moment so that it's not going to fly around. But Okay, so the first thing is for man. This means when we say man, we have to take it personally. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by taking it personally? See, before we can get our father's house in order, before we can do all these works and things that we might have seen visions, come remember it says the gifts and the what? Calling of God or what? Without repentance. It doesn't mean that there's no repentance necessary. There was no repentance necessary for God to be generous, for God to be giving. So ones will say, yeah, I got a vision. And what happens is that people, um, they deceive themselves or Satan, the devil, the evil, the false, the lying thought, deceives them and makes them think because, because they can understand a part of the Bible or because they got something that they recognize, identify as. As, as being of God or related to God or, or towards God, that means I'm okay, I'm cool. You understand? I don't have to do no more. Or, or like we say, well, because I grew my locks, you understand? Well, I'm Rastafari because I got my locks. Because I bond the herb and, and read my Bible, well, I'm Rastafari, I'm doing the right. So we're making up righteousness. You understand? We're making up that righteousness, our only righteousness that is acceptable to Abba. That's acceptable to our Father, to Kedamawi Kaila Shalasi, to Abba Kedus, to Kedus Abba Tachin, is Jesus Christos in us, living in us in spirit and in truth. That's the only, that's the only, that's, that's, that's scripture, that's word right there. Now, if we want to discuss 
the details. We'll be here a very long time on that particular subject matter, but you should already know that that's what, what it is. If not, we'll, we'll touch on that. Or may other brothers and sisters be able to... This is why the church, when we talk about the setting up the church code, we're speaking about the universal church code here. Um, many brothers and sisters, you know, one I and I to... Um, fellowship or assist them with this and that, but we're saying the first thing we have to do is to get I and I house in order. You understand that we have to begin with I and I self in the individual, the indivisible dual way. You understand the individual is the in the in the in individual is is dual too. You understand like they have the, the ka and the ba, right? But that's also part of the what? That's a part of the Trinity. That's a part of the tripartite man. Secondly it says then, in the, in, the, in the left, it says, Mitmanan, which are the faithful ones, those who have Amen, the Mitmanan, the Mitmanan, right? Yeah, Mitmananin, Men Sasawi, Hewit, the Men Sasawi, Hewit, their spiritual life. And saying, just because we have life doesn't mean that we are living spiritually according to His. Menses, according to the Menses Caduce, according to the Word of Jah, the Living Word of Jah. But here it says, "Yemit Menanin Mensesawi Hewit Manet." That the Turgum, the Turgum on that is building, building, up building. You understand? Or in in King James, it uses edifying. The word you'll find that in the King James Bible, edifying. That means building up, manet, as, as, as a carpenter or as a mason, in a sense, would build a house. Manet, right? That our spiritual life, the spiritual life of those who are faithful, those who have amen, those who admit, those who trust, those who are the faithful ones, and they would usually translate as believers. But we have already over, we overstand and we overcome you understand the shortcoming in that particular word. So the mitmanon are those who have amen, those who have true and faithful witness, see Revelation, um, Revelation 3 and 14. So the second step is to be built up. So first man has to turn, return, old man, he has to turn from his astray way. And he has to turn to Egeziah here. He has to turn to Yahweh. He has to turn to the true and the living God to he who be who he be. You understand that has revealed himself in the person of Kedamawi, Haila, Shalase in these last days. Now, next, right, Ha is Mitmananin, Lemen Fasawi, Agelot, Mazagajetina, Ma Seleth, Ma Seleth, Ma Seleth, Ma Seleth. Marcellus it has here. I'll check on that. But Marcellus and Mazagajet is is when, when soldiers are going to war, right? You know how everyone lines up in order, almost like rows, like almost like a, a like like what we call it. The same word sometimes is used for a, a protest. It's similar to the word that's used for troops getting arranged in orders, preparation, a uh, prepared and arrangement. For the spiritual menfasawi agelgelot, the, the the spiritual service, the spiritual service, the the mitmanan, you understand the mitmanan. See, when it first began off, it was so old. It was just men and people. Men and people have to return to God. Have to return to the God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Then they have to be built up their spiritual life. Right, the iritical life, the spiritual life has to be built up. Then they have to be um, prepared, right, and put in, put in, in and we say given them marching orders, prepared and, and given their marching orders, so to speak, for the spiritual service, for the spiritual service. Then met. Now, if you notice, going around this right here, we started out here, right? The first one. Men have to return to God. Then right here, the spiritual life has to be built up. So this is this circle. This is this circle. Then we, we're down here, right, with the preparation for the spiritual service, which is this circle right here, right? Then we have this right here, and you see how this is now in the center. 
So it's like it, we're going around. It's almost like a spiral. It's almost like the the um, the phi or the pi. If you if you if you trace it, I don't know if you can understand how it's going around, and then we come within. Then we are centered. You see, then we are centered. Then we are grounded. You know what I'm saying? So one, two, three, and then we're in the center. You know what I'm saying? Then we have come, then truly we have come within. You know what I'm saying? Really, in truth, then the word and, and the reality of this is now more grounded within us. But in the same time, then we come into the, the true fellowship of the faith. It's like, if we were to look at this using the parables that we have used or the likenesses, the examples, the similes the, that we have used, this would be like birth in that sense. Right? This will be like birth. And these will be like almost like, one could say like the trimesters, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or the various steps. And this is important for us to know because when we had came across this book, though we didn't like the, you know, we really didn't like the cover, but we had to get over that. You know how sometimes a person can make the whole issue about the cover and never even read it in the book. You know what I'm saying? And the cover could be a false cover. You understand? Who knows what was really behind the cover? So you take that cover off and you get into the contents of it. And getting into the content of this helped I personally to really understand the Bible and to understand what the true Christian walk is about according to the Word. You understand? According to the Word. Yes, there's a bunch of denomination and different stuff, but really, Yeshua, Jesus, Christ is one, and the truth is one. That's why we say that many different denominations might be right about this, they might be wrong about that. But how are you able to distinguish between the two? See, it's that Holy Spirit, and for us, along with that Holy Spirit, we have the testimony of I and I faithful, you know, saying martyrs of the Ethiopian martyrs, books like this. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at you talk about a fat book. This is a fat book right here, right? Books like this, Metaphes um, Elot where um, so it's a it's a book of prayer and it's a treasury it's called a treasury like a library or rather a treasury of prayer a treasury of prayer a book of prayer and a treasury of prayer and then there's other books such as this with the psalms of david and the zoater uh, but why we we're going to touch on this one right here is because the um five pillars of mystery Right, the five pillars of mystery in Bamarinya in the Amharic are here, and then we have um, Abuna Yisahak's, the late Abuna Yisahak, Brother Yisahak's book right here, right, um, the Ethiopian Tawahido Church, which he wrote. This is this is him right there, which he wrote, and within it, he touches on. I think we're right here. Let's put this down for a moment so we can show you right here you can see that's what we're going to touch on right here the I uh, uh, the Amistu Aimada right Mishtir or the five pillars of mystery you see the first one right there what's that first one the Mishtire Salase or the mystery right of the Trinity the mystery of the Trinity now admittedly when we read the Amharic and you know, even the English, it took us a while. We wasn't really persuaded that it was correct because it was not what we were used to. You know, in the churches that we went to and grew up in, they really didn't talk about these things, really. You know what I mean? We heard uh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Really, they say Holy Ghost, and that's blasphemy. You know, though they are ignorant of that, still we have learned that that's the blasphemy of the translators, you know, um, um, causing the people to stumble, but you know, Christ is, you know, Christ is merciful on, on, on that. But we still have to tell them and let them know. And then it's their choice if they want to choose life or they want to continue in the a straight way. But the main point is that we didn't, we didn't really, we can't say that when we read it we accepted it. We, we read it and we said the Trinity, the Trinity. I mean, we recognize just the Trinity, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the Trinity. But it was a question here. In the Mishtira um, Salase, it's like a catacumen, and they ask. I think the first E I K is Manfetare, Manfetare, 
In other words, um, who created you? And the Milash is Selassie. 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 That's what I said. Selassie. I, I thought it was like God created. And God and... But I, I, I really didn't understand. Well, God... Okay, well, God and the Trinity. And, and was it God and the Trinity? But is God a Trinity? And, and if God is a Trinity, then how is he one? You know, a lot of folks will actually... You know, there are a lot of people out there who say that's the reason why they reject it. Because... Um, they are they are looking at it um, as a as a quantitative thing as a quantitative thing, you understand? Or they're looking at like one, two, three. You understand? Know they are forgetting that numbers have um, what quantitative? What was it? Quantitative and um, um, okay. For, forgive me, right there. I was watching something else where the the, the presenter was touching on this. You know, like there is, there's card, there's there's ordinal, there's ordinal and cardinal numbers. There's ordinal and cardinal numbers. That's why with the Jewish Trinity that we mentioned in a couple of vids before, and for the Dexamezamorit that would like to get, you know, at least our study copy. This is really our study copy, but it's Yol Natan's book right here. You know, saying that we have a a a a, a version of this because we didn't like the cover either, but we loved what he was, you know, the truth that he found in the Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? Um, we have put this forward too, can get a copy, because it's, it's some very interesting, it, it kind of expands on what the Ethiopian faith is without saying this is an expansion of that, but we now know that the Ethiopians were rightly, you know, the, the our our... Orthodox, Ritua, Haimano, Tawi, um, Abba, Abba, to, Abba to, to Cha Chin, you know, and our fathers who went before the church fathers and so forth and so on, that we now understand this, this, this faith that we contend for, you know, and this faith that we contend for that was once delivered to the saints. Now, with that being said, let's just address all right okay let's just address um let's just address our next our next part of this and go into a little bit of more detail so stay tuned all right shalom rastafari part two coming up you don't want to miss it shalom